So in this class, we are going to study about emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. So first we try to see about important factors which are responsible for emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. So there are some causes which are responsible for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. So first important thing if we try to understand first important causes that was present in 1915 when Gandhi came to India from South Africa. There was political vacuum, right? Political vacuum. in 1915, right? So, that made condition for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. I will discuss that point. Second important thing, if you want to understand about the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. So, impact of First World War, right? First World War. That is also very important if you want to understand about the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader because first day, world war created socio-economic political condition which we are favorable for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader, right? We will discuss that point. Third important thing is that there was some international international factors which are also responsible for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. And fourth important aspect there were some regional movement which are also important for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. And fifth, we will discuss about the role of Gandhi ji, right? For the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. So these are the five important aspects. We will discuss that aspect for the understanding of emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. So first important thing is that political vacuum. I said that when Gandhi came to India in 1915, there was political vacuum. Political vacuum in India at 1915. But that political vacuum was created since 1907, right, due to Surat split in Congress, right. So Congress was divided into two important sections, moderates and extremists after 1907 split. So due to that split, due to division in Congress, both moderates and extremists were politically inactive when Gandhi came to India. Right? How that situation was favorable for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. Because if there was a dominant leader in India in 1915, then Gandhi has to do competition for their emergence with that leader. Right? Because politics is not a very simple game. But due to that political vacuum, that created very favorable condition for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. Second important aspect related to the emergence of Gandhi 
here i want to talk about the impact of first world war how first world war created some favorable condition for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader so what was the impact of first world war on indian economy if you if we want to understand impact of first world war on indian economy or on indian society or on indian political situation so first british government british government had introduced war economy since nineteen fourteen right british government had introduced war economy since nineteen fourteen what it means it means resources mainly utilized for defense of empire utilize for the fulfillment of the need of war and therefore due to introduction of war economy in india for the fulfillment of the need of war there was continuous increasement increasement in defense expenditure defense expenditure right there was continuous increase in the defense expenditure since 1914 so how british government had fulfill economic need of defense expenditure in india so there was introduction of heavy indirect and direct taxes on indian population and their burden fell to mass population so first important thing is that if a government has utilized resources for war so that created crisis there was shortage of consumer goods there was shortage of food grains in india due to that war economy and another important impact due to that war economy there was increasement in inflation right continuous increasement in inflation and therefore there was unrest among indian population due to that war economy that created congenial condition for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader another important thing is that in 1918 19 there was crop failure and therefore there was shortage of grain food grain in india but in spite of this shortage british government has continuously exported food grains for the fulfillment of the need of their war and another important thing thing happened due to that war economy british government started force recruitment in military in first world war right and that all thing created unrest among various section of indian population that created favorable condition for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader why because there was ruler unrest 
there was peace and unrest and there was unrest in laborer class in urban area so if we observe about the socio political environment of war period so people were against british government due to that first world war and that created very favorable condition for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader because gandhi came to india gandhi tried to study about the mentality of indian population try to understand about the socio economic political condition of india and gandhi observed that there was a strong unrest present in india against british government due to impact of that war economy right so that day first world war created socio economic political environment for the emergence of new political leader for the emergence of new alternative politics in india which introduced by gandhi ji and third important thing here i want to see there were some international factors international factors right what happened at a international level so first important thing is that there was movement against imperialism right in many country if we see about the history of asia africa we find that in many country there were agitation against imperialism there were demonstration against imperialism because people were suffering due to first world war so that also influence about the mentality of the people of india and hence it also create favorable condition for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader and second important thing happened at the international level there was mentality against capitalism right because there was communist revolution in russia in 1917 that created new idea new model of economy and society which was against capitalism and gandhi himself criticized capitalism right so these types of international events were also favorable for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader and fourth important factor here i already discuss some regional movement right that the regional movement started in some parts of india here i want to mention three important regional movement in which gandhi was participated and that day and that movement was very important for the emergence of gandhi as a national leader because gandhi has given leadership of that movement and that movement succeeded under the leadership of gandhi ji so people started thinking that gandhi will be future leader of our country so try to see about it. this important regional movement i will discuss that movement separately so first important movement that was champaran satyagraha 
right in 1917 second that was keda satyagraha In 1917, 18, and third year, Ahmedabad textile mill strike by laborer, right? These are the three important regional movement which happened in 1917 and 1918. That the movement were very important for the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader because Gandhi had participated in Champaran Satyagraha. That movement was started before 1917 under the leadership of local leader like Rajkumar Sukla, Khedadaya, Sandraut, J.B. Kriplani. But Gandhi participated in this movement in 1970 and Gandhi introduced Satyagraha, new alternative politics in Champaran Satyagraha and, and ultimately Due to participation of Gandhi in Champaran Satyagraha, that Satyagraha was succeeded. But what day that movement gave then message to the people of India? That movement gave him message to the people of India. Gandhi will be future leader of India. Gandhi is capable to lead India. In such condition, if we see about the Khera Satyagraha, that was also started under local leadership like Mohanlal Pandya, right? Gandhi participated in Khera Satyagraha in 1918 and here that Satyagraha was also succeeded under the leadership of Gandhiji and in Ahmedabad, laborer strike in textile mill that was also started under the leadership of Ansuya Bain. Here, here Gandhi also participated in this movement and that movement was also succeeded. So these three important movements had given message to the people of India Gandhi will be able to lead our country for peasant, for laborer or for our national movement. So that created a very good image about Gandhi and therefore the role of this local movement were also very important if we want to understand about the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. But ultimately if we want to understand about the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader, so basically we can understand about the emergence of Gandhi as a national leader through the understanding of role of Gandhi ji, right? Right? Because there were many leaders who want to become supreme leader of India. They were actively participated in the politics of India. But why Gandhi became succeed as a national leader? So Gandhi has some extraordinary ability to lead India. So Gandhi has very important role for the emergence of himself as a national leader as a supreme leader. So if we try to understand about the role of Gandhiji for the, their own emergence as a supreme leader, 
so first important thing we have to understand about gandhi started alternative politics alternative politics in india he introduced alternative politics in india so what it means if we try to analyze about the politics of moderates and politics of extremist both were educated upper middle class and their politics based on the support of upper middle class mainly right but what gandhi did so gandhi had a very a strong belief in inclusive politics gandhi started inclusive politics in india right so gandhi started inclusive politi politics in india right that inclusive politics was aware for the multiculturalism of indian society diversity of indian society gandhi was aware and gandhi introduced new model for the integration of various social group religious group in indian politics gandhi made ruler base for indian nationalism so gandhi has participated all section of society from ruler india there was great participation of peasant in gandhian movement participation of female participation of dalit participation of adivasi participation of backward caste and classes and participation of the people of backward regions also right so gandhi introduced multiculturalism in indian politics and then if you want to understand about the emergence of gandhi so we have to understand about ideology right gandhi introduced new ideology for indian nation new ideology for nationalism because moderates were influenced by western civilization and extremists were influenced by hindu revivalist movement but gandhi said that indian nationalism is based on ancient indian civilization and he also said that india was nation people were formed as a nation or a parja from pre islamic era india has nationality from ancient india and people integrated together on the basis of multiculturalism from ancient india so there was pergence of nationality indian type of nationality from ancient india to modern and therefore he define indian nationalism in the light of ancient indian civilization second important thing is that gandhi had criticized he criticized he criticized western civilization western civilization first and also capitalism once 
Gandhi has given more importance to Indian civilization, basically ancient Indian civilization, and Gandhi criticized Western civilization and capitalist mode of economy. And Gandhi said that India was captured not by Britishers, but India is captured by Western civilization and capitalism. Right? And he criticized that because that Western civilization and capitalism based on violence. They believe in violence. But Indian civilization has a root belief in non-violence. So Gandhi proposed new concept regarding nationalism and that was very important for the understanding of emergence of Gandhi as a national leader. Second important thing is that Gandhi determined goal of nationalism that was moral goal. Moral goal and Swaraj, right? That was not an objective goal which Gandhi want to achieve. That was un that was unattainable or even elusive. Right? So the goal was subjective and Gandhi did not try to define that goal. And Gandhi utilized some religious symbol for interpretation of their national movement, interpretation of their goal, right? So these types of ideology created very strong base in the favor of Gandhiji for the development of nationalism and for the emergence of Gandhiji. Other important thing here we want to discuss Basically, Gandhi introduced alternative politics. So their alternative politics was based on different strategy, different technique, different ideology, which was practically not implemented before Gandhi and before Gandhian movement. How? Because Gandhi proposed the concept of Satyagra and he defined that that is force truth or force soul. Right? Satyagra सत्य में विश्वास ही सत्याग्रह है सत्यम अहिंसा में विश्वास करके आंदोलन करना ही सत्याग्रह है सो गांधी सेड दैट आवर सत्याग्री हैज ग्रीट सोल वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सोल दे बिलीव इन ट्रूथ एंड दे फाइट अगेंस्ट ऑपरेशन for the change about the heart of operation, that the model was very important. And that model, Gandhi had succeeded in South Africa. And when Gandhi came to India, that strategy, that model, that technique introduced by Gandhi in three important regional movements which I already discussed, he introduced he introduced that Satyagraha in Champanan Satyagraha, Khira Satyagraha and Ahmedabad textile strike, right? Second important thing is that Gandhi has great belief in Ahinsa or non-violence, right? That was 
political weapon of gandhi try to understand that was political weapon of gandhi he started his movement which was based on satyagraha which was based on ahimsa non violence if if gandhi did violent movement then there were less people participation in that movement but if gandhi did their movement which was based on the concept of satyagraha and ahimsa so there were possibility to participation of women participation of dalit participation of adivasi participation of rural people urban people or every section of indian society and if gandhi started their movement which was based on the concept of ahimsa then government was also confused regarding this gandhian model of alternative politics gandhi also introduce civil this obedience movement in india earlier in swadeshi movement there was concept of passive resistance introduced by arvind ghos but arvind ghos believed in violence arvind ghos said that if government has then violent action then then people has also right to do violent action in passive resistance but that civil disobedience was totally based on the concept of ahimsa the concept of ahimsa or a non violence so that concept that strategy has very strong power to participate various social group under the leadership of gandhi ji right another important thing is that gandhi also utilized swadeshi and backyard movement and there was constructive program started by gandhi in their movement earlier that program was present in swadeshi movement right swadeshi and bicart and constructive program were also present in swadeshi movement in 1905 but gandhi practically implemented that program for mass mobilization right he practically introduced gandhi has also supported to khilafat movement that created very strong relationship between hindu and muslims so gandhi through that ideology through their constructive program through swadeshi gandhi tried to connect with the people and therefore gandhi became more successful for the connection of the people of india he had very strong connectivity with the people of india apart from that gandhi also 
started simple living it has also very important role right he made their image as like saint gandhi was talking with the people of india in their folk language gandhi always utilize some reference from ramchit manas some religious symbol for the mobilization of the people of india so these are the important factors and basically these are important extra ordinary ability of gandhi for mass mobilization and therefore gandhi became supreme leader in 1920 because gandhi had created very strong ruler support through their ideology through their action through their living style through their political activity and hence when gandhi started national movement against rollet act so he got support from various parts of india but there was violent created in that movement gandhi believe in control movement he want to control their movement so gandhi feel that without political organization we are not able to lead our movement so in 1920 gandhi started non cooperation movement under the leadership of congress and then gandhi became supreme leader of india and therefore indian national movement known as a gandhian era from 1920 to 1947 but if we try to observe about this all thing happen from 1915 to 1920 we find that because there was political vacuum that created very favorable condition for the emergence of gandhi due to impact of first world war there was unrest among all section of society that also supported to the emergence of gandhi as a national leader and some international factors like movement started against imperialism in various country critics of capitalism and local movement through that local movement gandhi was able to connect all people basically from ruler and urban and lower class people peasantry and laborer class and lastly if you observe about gandhian ideology so gandhi has a strong belief in diversity between unity in india a strong belief in multiculturalism a strong belief in the supremacy of ancient indian civilization and gandhi introduced satyagraha ahimsa civil disobedience and practical application of swadeshi and constructive program that all created connectivity of people with gandhi right both moderate and extremist accepted the leadership of gandhi ji both his both hindu and muslim accepted the leadership of gandhi ji and both people from rural india and urban india also accepted the leadership of gandhi ji western educated middle class and youth also accepted the leadership of gandhi ji and in later phase of indian nationalism industrialist trades men shopkeepers means all section of society accepted the leadership of gandhi ji because 
Gandhi has great ability to connect with the people of India, to give leadership to the people of India against British government in national movement and therefore Gandhi became supreme leader of India. Thank you.